Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your Hell in the Cell preview. Um, real quick, I've been laughing at some of these comments there from angry Goldberg fanboys that were pissed off at my the video that I made on him there. You people need to realize that not everybody likes Goldberg. Lots of wrestling fans don't like him. It's not like the guy was a real star. You know what I mean? A flash in the pan, not a big star like a Hogan or Sting or not even close to that. So not everybody is a, a retarded Goldberg fanboy that wants to get fucked up the ass by Big Bill there. So calm the fuck down. You know, take your fucking meds. Let your fucking PMS cool off there and try to use your intelligence a little bit. Not everybody cares for Goldberg. And people have different opinions than you there. Your opinion isn't the only thing that matters in this world. So if you can't handle my opinion on the wrestler, then, you know... <laughs> Do what you gotta do there, fucking exit the channel, keep crying, whatever the case may be there, but I don't give a fuck if you're crying at my Goldberg vid. Suck my fucking cock. Go see your shrink. He might give you some Prozac or something there and have a nice day. Now, real quick with this, uh, this preview there. Owens versus Seth Rollins in the cage. Um, I'm expecting this to be a good enough match. It's two good wrestlers. It should be a good enough match. Is it going to be a hardcore, devastating cage match? You know, the hell in the cell. Is it going to be a big, crazy, blood fast shit like this? Most likely not. However, here's the deal. It is a PG product. <laughs> the Attitude Era is dead. It's finished. So you're not going to get a big, crazy, psycho Hell in the Cell match. That's just the way it is. If you're watching Hell in the Cell in 2016... And you're expecting to get Taker versus Mankind. You'll never be satisfied with the matches. Shit like this. So it's 2016. You know, we know it's PG. So don't expect this to be packed with blood and gore. You know what I mean? I'm not saying to lower your expectations all the way to the floor. But if your expectations are super high and unrealistic, then you'll never be satisfied. Basically, nowadays, it's a regular match with a cage around it. So that's what you should expect there. And I expect this to be a good enough match. I don't expect Mankind against Taker because that's not happening. Sasha Banks versus Charlotte in the Hell in the Cell. I expect them to go, you know, I expect them to bring their A game, their A plus game. I think they're going to go out of their way to make this a really good match just to prove that the women are good enough to be in the cage. That's what I think is going to happen. So I'm expecting it to be good enough. Roman Reigns versus Rusev. You know, it's probably going to be the cheaper of the cage matches. I'm expecting it to be decent slash boring. That's what I expect. But sometimes Roman Reigns can bust a good match out of his ass here and there. So it might turn out to be good. T 
TJ Perkins versus Brian Kendrick. It's going to be a nerdy cruiserweight match. It might be a decent match. Who knows there? It'll probably be an okay wrestling match. New Day against Cesaro and Sheamus. It's going to be a regular tag match. I don't think New Day is losing right now. So Sheamus and Cesaro are probably going to argue somehow and they're going to lose. And just a regular tag match there. Enzo and Cass versus Anderson and Gallows. Throwaway tag match. Is it going to be good? Who gives a shit? <laughs> Pretty much. Just a filler tag match. I'm assuming it's going to be okay. You know what I mean? An okay match. And uh, Bailey versus Dana Brooke. Fucking piss break match there. Fucking feminist garbage there. Fucking shit. Um, so there you go. Is it going to be Mankind and Taker 2.0? Fuck no. But I think the pay-per-view should be at least decent there. I don't think it's going to suck or anything like that. But if your expectations are true to roof and unrealistic... Of course, you're not going to be happy. It's time to get real, fuck. It's a goofy product. That's what we're watching, so don't expect blood and guts from a goofy product. It's like watching Nickelodeon and expecting to see fucking blood and gore there. It's just not happening, people. Until next time, peace.